Hello guys, this is Dusty, your FS pilot. We are here in El Dorado, Arkansas, on one of our HEMS helicopters. We're on our way to North Little Rock. We landed here just a little while ago to uh, pick up some fuel and uh, get a cup of coffee. And it uh, looks like the crew's ready to go. Uh, doors are open, let some of that cool morning air through. So let's go jump in the helicopter and see if our first officer has loaded everything up and got the flight plan started. So let's go. Now this flight plan is scheduled for about 58 minutes. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of dead space in that flight plan. So there's just gonna be some pretty flying over some terrain till we get up there. So I'm gonna speed through some of that so you don't have to sit there unless there's something major that happens along the way. Well, it looks like the flight plan is loaded. So uh, let's go up here and uh, we got batteries on. So we'll get ready to start this. We're gonna kick on our lights here. We're gonna let everybody know that we're fixing a start up. So let's get this going. Start engine number two. We're gonna go in here and shut some doors. Check our lights. We're good. Flight plans in. Let's set this up for out to five miles. While that first engine gets going, we've got this is already set. Set on that. We're gonna go. We're in hover. Waypoint is set. Numbers are on. Turn to report. We are already in nav D. Five miles is on that. So let's go set this to 20. H Taws is on. We're good to go there. Let's check down below. Turn on our autopilots, make sure weather is cranked up in case we run into anything, reset for that. Engine number one is on or two is on idle, so we'll turn on X turn on the pump, turn that off. Prime pump one, engine startup one. And we'll get it rolling. Double check. Everything's good. Pilot heat. Pilot. Pilot heat. Turn that on. Our engine one comes up to idle. We'll check it. And we'll go up here and turn the air conditioner on and everything else. Engine one is at idle. Fuel pump on. I got a door open. Let's go back up top. Turn some AC on. This on. And there we Set, 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 set. We'll turn the strobes on here in just a second. We don't need a landing light. All right. Let's shut the door. Let's take a look around. And it looks like we're good to go. Switch over here to autopilot. And we'll be taking off going towards the north. Let's get this going. Bring up power. Looking for 25. Work. It looks good. Torque 25, good to go. And which way is the wind coming from? So we're going to take off back to our rear, which will be to the east. All right, so let's go. South Arkansas Regional Traffic Helicopter 969 Charlie Bravo taking off directly to the east from the ramp. South Arkansas Regional Traffic. All 
right, let's uh, slow turn face into the wind. Oh, the wind direction's changed, so I guess we're going to have to amend that. Looks like we're going to take off to the south. what it looks like. Actually, the winds are calm, so it's not going to really take make much difference. Well, we'll take off to the south. We're going to set our minimum altitude for this flight at 1500 or 2500. Let's go back in here to the GTN, set that autopilot to 2500. Set that. We're good on that. Let's go back to the map. Five miles. All right. One thing I like to do when I take off is maintain my direction of travel. I'm going to set the heading where we're going. And here we go. Helicopter 969 Charlie Bravo, South Arkansas Regional Traffic, taking off to the south. Transition back to the north. South. Arkansas regional traffic. Get some speed up here. We're clearing. Climb altitude. Sit. back to our left to start intercepting our course. Climbing to 2500. Accept our course here in just a second. A thousand of feet above the ground. Looking good. Let's now set this to the HS. Uh, and we're going to go nav. Intercept our course here in just a second. I know the time says an hour and 15 minutes, but we're in climb. Increase our speed to 100 knots. And picking up our course. Two thousand feet, monitor, monitor, monitor. on it. 2200 feet on the climb. When we get to our cruising altitude I'm gonna I'll bump this up to uh, cruise speed about 120 125 and out is captured. Let's bump the speed up. Let's start out with 125. Our estimated time of destination is decreasing. It's going to take a little less than I expected. We got a six knot tailwind, so that might be helpful. Looks like about 125, 124 indicated airspeed is what we're going to be doing. Across the ground is 134. So there you have it. We are on our way back to North Little Rock. As we get closer, I'm going to uh, speed through some of this 
while we're doing it. So I'll be back with you in a minute. conditions in an easterly direction uh, we're kind of required below 3,000 feet uh, we can really fly at anything 3,000 feet above the ground VFR you can pick an altitude but uh, we're gonna stick with the rules we're gonna descend to an odd altitude plus 500 and we'll set that up real quick and uh, lay it out we'll just uh, scroll this one back we are set it it's ready. We're going to come back to our autopilot. Alt A capture. Look at the uh, VS rating. It looks pretty decent. And we'll get it to about 500 or so feet per minute descent. It'll grab it here. Let's watch and see what happens. As we descend, you're monitoring, make sure you are on the flight path still, you're still nav, and make sure that it captures when it's supposed to. My goodness, look at the uh, amount of forest here in South Arkansas. As you can see our terrain indicator says uh, we're getting into the green. Green is good, yellow is caution, and red is uh, you might want to go a little higher. Red is dead according to some folks. So that's why your VFR you maintain your look. Watch out. So coming up on 1500 and it's captured. Alt is captured. Uh, let's take a look at our the rest of our route and make sure we can get into North Little Rock without any issues. It looks fantastic. So we'll zoom back in just a tad. So let's see. Anyway, that's what we are doing. VFR to an easterly direction is an odd altitude plus 500. We'll be back in a minute. close enough to plan our pass through of the Class Charlie airspace and approach to North Little Rock and this is what we're looking at when we do this. Let me bring this up for you and as you can see where this magenta line is, we are this uh, orange or this uh, magenta aircraft 
And as you approach to the Charlie airspace here, take a look, you've already got some idea. We're at 1,500 feet, so we're going to enter the Charlie airspace below the shelf here. But we want to stay out of this airspace since we're VFR. So we're going to uh, take a jog to the left and, and fly over the stadium here uh, and then head towards the airport. So now let's go take a look at our approach brief. What's the weather there in uh, North Little Rock? Bring up the weather and let's see what we got. It says wind is calm, altimeter is 3012, 10 statute miles, We're pretty good. So that will bring us to, let us allow us to run, land on runway 35. We have choices here of 5 and 2, 3 or 1735. We're going to pick 35 because it's closest and the wind is calm. Now we just got to maintain VFR as we approach and watch out for hills and things like that. Looks pretty good. Pass through the Charlie is planned and approach to runway 35 is planned. Oh, and our uh, altitude for the runway or airport is 536, so an approach of 1536 is pretty decent. We'll make adjustments as we approach. So let's go back to the map and take a look. Looks pretty good. See you in a minute. All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab heading mode real quick. And then we're gonna turn ourselves to the left a little bit until we can stay out of uh, the, below the Charlie airspace here at Little Rock. And that'll give us a heading of looks like a nine and we're tracking an eight we have a five knot wind behind us and we'll make a further adjustments as we get closer see you in a minute as you can see you got the uh, little rock skyline coming into view and uh, that's the downtown area over there on the right and then the runway lights to Little Rock Airport or to the right of that. And we're going to stay below the shelf here we just entered, 1,500 feet. And everything should be good. Let me come back here to Sky Vector. And everything looks good. Uh, as we make some more adjustments as we get closer, I'll be back with you shortly. here you'll see War Memorial Stadium just over the uh, tablet and here shortly we're going to take a little jog to the right and get ourselves towards the North Rock Airport and we're going to turn probably 15 degrees to the right start getting this lined up and we see the runway we can make adjustments and come in. Looks like it's right up there on the horizon. If you've flown this before, then you get an idea of, of uh, stay out of the Charlie airspace here. You'll get an idea of what you're looking for when, when you, if you've flown here a lot, like, like I have in the uh, sim, by the way. Not a real pilot. Fly over the cliffs here in North Little Rock. Over the Arkansas River. I see runway 23. No, run, it's not runway 23. Uh, it's the other end, runway 5. So now we got an idea. And uh, we can actually come down just a tad. So going to take control of this and descend just a slight bit and come right staying out of the Charlie here pick up a heading of 055 maybe that's about right that's about enough descent I'm going to pull back 
bring back some speed here to about a hundred knots and uh, maintain some altitude here. Boy, that was ugly. And let's go. We're pretty close. We're a minute out, so let's bring it back to 80. Our approach needs to be about 60. We're coming off of heading mode. Get ourselves lined up here. Coming back to 60. See the runway there on my left. Descend just a tad. And get ourselves lined up. Let me get in this. Yep, there it is right there. Don't need this anymore. Come back to uh, 45. Getting lined up. We don't see anybody else in the traffic, so we'll get ourselves down. North Little Rock traffic, helicopter 969, Charlie Bravo on final for runway 35, sidestep to the taxiway and direct to the ramp. Both the rock traffic. All right, we're all lined up. I don't need this head tracker on no more. All right, bring it back. We're going to come in the 30. Just slow it down just a bit. We'll go into hover taxi in just a second. Bring up hover mode here. Yep. Bring it up, back, slow it down to 30, ground speed. This is an ugly land. I didn't get slowed up quick enough. And 13 feet's good. Oh, that wasn't pretty at all. <laughs> and come on back. We'll go over here and land by our favorite landing spot. No one's here. Stay hover. We're 17 feet above ground. Get down to five here on the hover taxi. And slow it up. Let's get us in here. Six, four, three. I'm going over there by our our gray building over there. I don't remember. There used to be a door on there. Huh. Guess something changed. All right. Hover taxi at eight. Eight feet. for any next mission that comes along. There is a door there. <laughs> I'm going to have to review this video. I didn't see it there. It must have popped in when we were... Uh, when I wasn't looking. Alright, we're going to turn right and we're gonna put her down on this uh, T here. And slow down to one. And start our descent to put it down gently on the ground, and we're down. All right, engine idles. 
All right, we're back to North Little Rock, and uh, we've made it without any incident. And we'll get ready for the next mission. I'll see you then.